Oh, there you are, YouTube. Here, that one. You ready? No, this one. Whoop. There you go. People. What is it? What's it say? The village. The village. Wow, so many shaman on lately. Yeah. Alrighty, can you hold that up so I can see it? Can you show oh, that up? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. All three of the M. Night movies we put in were almost consecutive. We had Goosebumps cel celebrating, separating Goosebumps 2, separating the first M. Night movie we watched, which was Signs, and then the second one, which was Sixth Sense. But then, yesterday was Sixth Sense, today we came in with The Village, which we like. Um, Interesting thing. Let me get into the spoilers here. Just getting them, okay? Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I worked at a movie theater when this movie came out, and I had to screen the movie, make sure there were no, you know, tangles or scratches or whatever on the film, back when, you know, movies were shown on film. And so me and a couple, actually, it was, I feel like, what was that? Now I have to remember if this, if I was screening it or just watching it. I feel like I was screening it. But I remember a th whole theater of people gra gasping and we didn't always have large groups. Mm, I was sitting, okay, I think I was screening because I remember specifically sitting next to um, a coworker. But we could have been seeing the movie t together after, you know, work when normal audiences were going. But it doesn't really matter. Um, regardless... The movie, spoilers here, starts off with a tombstone that has a year on it. And that year is not present day. It is not 2004 when this movie came out. It's like in the 1800s, right? So I didn't read that tombstone. So when I'm watching this movie, I'm not thinking it takes place in the past. I'm thinking it's contemporary times, but we're following an Amish-like community, right? So, near the end of the movie, when Ivy hops that fence and sees that Jeep, I remember the theater gasping, being like, <gasps> and I'm like, what? What's the big deal? <laughs> and it was a big deal because we were supposed to be thinking this movie took place in the 1800s. <sighs> but... I didn't read that tombstone at the beginning, so the twist was not there for me. Um, I mean, I guess there's the twist of, mon it's not really monsters, but the real twist of the movie is it doesn't take place in the past, it takes place in contemporary times, 2004. So that, but at the same time that didn't ruin the movie for me. You know, I still like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite Shyamalan, um, you know, for me it's like, it's hard to come up with a list, but I usually just go with the first uh, being Sixth Sense because that's like the original, right? It's like he went for it. Um, that, then Signs, then um, probably The Lady in the Water, then, I don't know, Village and, Un Village and then Unbreakable, and then... Where am I at? Split, then, er, then what? I don't know. Anyway, you get, you understand. <laughs> I like this movie. Uh, but yeah, um, I just, I, I ruined, I ruined the twist for myself when I saw it. And I remember there's that scene when Ivy's dad takes her to the shed. And I remember leaning over to my friend, you know, he takes her to the shed to show her, you know, that the monsters aren't real, they're just costumes that people wear. And I remember, so, as he was leading her to the shed, I leaned over to my friend and I was like, but there's a nice little John Deere in there, John Deere tractor. And then my friend leans over to me and he says, those wouldn't have existed back then. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about? I didn't, I just let him say what he said. I didn't question him or anything because, you know, we're watching a movie. And... That was my opportunity to understand that this movie was trying to tell me that it was taking place in the 1800s, but I just wrote my friend off like, I don't think he knows what he's talking about. So, 
yeah, I, I don't know, ruined the twist for myself, one of the twists for myself, but I still think the movie is fantastic. James Newton Howard, right? Oh my goodness, that guy, that composer is fantastic. Love his work with Shyamalan. Um, I'm, well, he has something coming up here. Oh, Jungle Cruise. I wonder if that's going to be any good, you know, his music and that. But he is amazing with Shyamalan. And I don't know, their, their collaborations are quite good. Quite good. But I think I'm going to go, oh, actually, before hand, I think this is only the second time this one's been in our calendar or it has it it is only the second time and i know we did not put this one in our calendar in the early years because this is a movie that gets put on quite a bit during the fall so it's like why you know set it aside for one single day when we could you know watch it whenever we want but we also figured last year i remember having the conversation where it's like well, why don't we put it in and still watch it whenever we want. It's just when we pull it out that one day we watch it that day too. So yeah, now we started including it in our calendar, but today was the first time we watched it this fall season. So, you know, it, it kind of works out like our calendar is supposed to work out. So, but that also means I only have two family photos. They are very similar. And uh, once I sign off, I'm going to show you uh, the most recent one and then the one from last year. And again, very similar, but I don't know, gonna show them both. Um, other than that, I think uh, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.